Welcome to video two of three, where we're diving in and talking about how to get business credit for your EIN that's not linked to your personal social security number, and how to easily get business loans and credit lines even when you think you can't get financing at your own bank. So in video one, we talked about how to build business credit. We talked about what business credit is, the benefits of business building business credit. We gave you an overview of the process of building business credit as well. Well, today we're going to dive in and we're going to cover many different topics, including three different ways to get business loans and credit lines that your bank will not tell you about because these are not options that you're going to be able to access at a conventional bank. We're going to talk about how to get business financing even if you have severe credit issues, even if you don't have collateral, even if you're a startup and you don't even yet have cash flow or don't want to verify cash flow, how you can still get loans and credit lines. And we're going to talk about how to get loans and credit lines with interest rates lower than 2%. Again, even if you have credit issues, even if you don't have cash flow, these things are still possible if you know the right places to go to where to look and we're going to talk about how to do that how to get money to grow even when you think you may not qualify or can't get financing at your bank most financing does not come from conventional banks so we're going to talk about where it does come from and how you can easily access it based on one factor or sometimes no factors or multiple factors to be able to get approved easily now in the next video we're going to tie this together. We're going to talk about the easiest and fastest way to get money for your business, combining both business credit and loans and credit lines. We're going to talk about how to get all legitimate financing programs in one place to get more money to grow. Today, we're going to look at a lot of different funding options that can work for you, regardless of what your scenario may be, regardless of credit, regardless of other factors. But going and getting access to all this capital is difficult because it's all offered through thousands and thousands of different lenders. Well, in video three, we're going to tie this together and show you how to get it all in one place. We're also going to talk about how you can work with the team to get the best terms and loans and credit lines so you can actually have the lowest payments, so you can get the lowest interest. So you'll know that one bank is better than another for your business or your industry or even that month in time. So again, how to get the most amount of money at the best terms. We're also going to talk about taking that process we looked at in video one and condensing what even if you understand what the process is could take you years to accomplish and condense it down into only months and how you can work with a team and get concierge service as you build your business credit as well. This way you avoid pitfalls and if you do get stuck you can easily overcome obstacles and barriers that sometimes cost people months of time when they're trying to build their business credit. So again in video three we tie it all together and give you the easiest and fastest way to access business credit and loans of what we talked about in video one and today. So why, why is money important? Why is capital important to a business? Well, all the statistics are the same. They show that the majority of small businesses in this country do fail. Now, per the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, one out of five businesses fail within their first five years of operation, and within 15 years, 75% fail. Now, again, depending on the statistics you're looking at, SBA will oftentimes say that within five years, more than half of business fail. So the overwhelming statistics show that most businesses do fail, depending on the source you look at, shows how bad that may actually be. Now, Per SBA, there's two main reasons for business failure. One has to do with management issues. One has to do with insufficient capital. Now, the great news here is, is both of these are one and the same and easy to control. Because what happens is when you have access to capital, you can afford to make more mistakes. As business owners, as entrepreneurs, a lot of us are making mistakes all the time because we're learning as we go. And the more capital you have to help you make those mistakes and go through that learning process, the more stable your business will be. So here's a great infographic from Small Business Trends that shows just this. So what they look at is a healthy, a stable, or at-risk, or a distressed business. Now, at-risk and distressed are obviously serious risks of going under, of going out of business. And what determines it is one of three things. One, you're profitable. Two, you have a low credit risk. The business or the owner has good or excellent personal credit. So remember, even if you don't have excellent credit, if you're building your business credit, you'd still have a check here because it's business or the owner has good or excellent credit. And criteria three is does not primarily use the owner's personal funds or credit to fund the business. So what we're trying to do is help you get to 
the healthy aspect right here where you have all three of these, where you can make profits because you have access to financing to reinvest into your growth to become more profitable, where you don't need to use or have good personal credit because you're establishing good business credit to be able to help you grow. And number three, this gives you the ability to not have to use your personal funds or your personal credit to fund the business when you have access to other sources of capital. So again, in video one, two, and three, we're helping you accomplish all three so you're a healthy business. But let's say you're not. Let's say you're not yet profitable. You are still using your personal funds to fund the business. You do have credit issues, no business credit. Well, then again, as you can see, this is what's considered a distressed business. This is a business that has a serious risk of failure. So my goal, our goal, is to help you succeed. We want you to be healthy. And in order to be healthy, you need access to capital. If you don't have access to capital and you do have credit issues, then it's harder to become profitable and that really puts you at a high risk of failure but when you do have access to capital per every source that talks about this topic whether it be score sba inc or any other financial resource you will find that the more access to capital you have the greater chance you have of success so how do you get business financing well over 75 percent of business owners go to friends and family to get it and almost all use their personal assets and all almost all use their personal credit to try to grow their business now, per SBA, only 1.2% of business loans actually come from the big banks. So this is interesting because when we talk to business owners, we commonly ask, where would you go if you need money? And a lot of them say, I would go to my bank. But the reality is, is that over 98% of business financing that takes place right now in the United States does not come from the big banks. It does not come from Bank of America, and Wells Fargo, and these other conventional banks. It's coming from alternative lenders. This is where 98.8% .8 of financing now comes from when it comes to small business financing. Now, per Bloomberg, funding a small business, don't even bother with the banks. And this is very true because the banks have very stringent requirements to get approved. You have to have great credit. You have to have great business credit. You have to have a bunch of collateral. You have to have cash flow you can verify for years and years on your tax returns. It's so difficult to get that kind of financing, which is why so little of it now comes from those big conventional banks. But here's the reality. How many people have you ever ever met who secured an ASBA loan. If you think about it, you know a lot of business owners. And all of the people that you've ever talked to, how many people have ever told you that they actually secured an SBA loan? It's probably none or very few. Because to get approved, your personal, your business, your bank credit has to be nearly perfect. You've got to have excellent current projected financials. You have to have great tax returns. You need bank statements that are well managed. You have to have resumes to show you have tons of experience in your industry. You need a well-thought-out business plan that alone can cost you hundreds or thousands of dollars and months and months of time to create. You have to have background checks without having any kind of criminal history in a lot of cases to get conventional bank loans. And you have to have collateral. It's often estimated that you need 70, 75 percent or more collateral for what you're borrowing. So if you're borrowing 100,000, you probably need to offset that with 70 to 75,000 of some type of collateral. So again, most people don't have this, which is why it's so difficult to get business financing. But here's the great news. Oh, almost $7 billion will be lent to small businesses this year. And most of the money is not going to come from these big banks. It's not going to require that stringent requirement to get approved. The real problem is not actually lack of availability to credit money. It's that most business owners don't know where or how to actually get it. And this is something we call the cash access problem. The problem is not that money isn't available. There's plenty of money available. The problem is most business owners don't know where to go to actually access that money. And a lot of them try to go to their bank, which is the wrong place, as we've kind of went through so far, to actually go to access that capital. So that brings about the next question. Where do you go to get money. If you're not going to get money from your bank, then you need to know the ways to get funding that your bank won't tell you about because they don't offer it. They don't know a lot of these other solutions are out there because they're just not options that banks offer. Now, let me also speak to the fact that banks are not bad. They're just regulated. Banks are government insured. So the government requires that banks be very conservative for the risk. And since the majority of small business 
businesses do fail, this is why it's so difficult to be able to get business loans at the big banks. This is why it's so necessary that you know ways to get funding that your bank isn't going to tell you about. And one of those common ways is called cash flow financing. Now this is quickly becoming one of the most popular ways to actually get money out in the lending arena today. These are cash advances. They look at basically your bank account management for approval. If you manage your bank account responsibly, you don't overdraw it, you have some kind of positive ending balance at the end of each month, you can commonly get approved. Now, typically they're looking for 10,000 deposits in one year in business. You can get approved. Now, we work with a lot of financial sources that we'll talk about in video three that can help you get approved even if you don't have 10,000, even if you have six or seven or eight or 9,000 in deposits, even if you have six, seven or eight months in business versus a year, there are still options for you. But the majority of these lenders are looking for 10,000 in deposits and one year in business. This is super fast and really, really, really easy money for you to be able to secure. You could typically get approved as much as 12% of your annual revenue. So if your annual revenue is $200,000 a year. With this kind of financing, you could typically get about $24,000 in financing or more. Loans and credit lines are both available. There's very few, but there are some lending sources out there that don't just offer loans for this kind of financing, but that also offer you credit lines. And in video three, we're going to show you how to access both, how to get loans and how to get credit lines using cash flow financing. The money is typically paid back daily. So a lot of people don't like this kind of financing because because they take money daily out of your bank account, but there's also a lot of options where you could pay weekly or monthly to pay back the loan. And again, in video three, we'll talk more about these monthly and weekly payback, payback options to get you access to the absolute best kind of financing that's out there when it comes to cash flow loans. So getting approved within 72 hours, you could typically get approved and fund within 72 hours or less. We even have multiple clients that haven't received funding in as little as 24 hours. So it's very fast to be able to get money. You can usually have your whole process, the whole loan underwritten and approved and get the money in your bank account within three days or less. Again, we've seen it even as short a time as 24 hours or less with people that are trying to get money even to pay payroll. And it's very easy to get because all that's needed is a bank statement review to actually get approved. So you've got to manage that bank account responsibly. They're looking for consistent deposits. Deposits. They're looking for positive ending balances on your bank account. They're looking for really no overdrawn or not a bunch of non-sufficient funds. Okay, This is high-risk lending. There's no collateral pledge, and you don't have any kind of consumer credit requirements. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of lenders that will show you in video three that you're able to access that don't even do credit checks. There's not even a credit check in a lot of cases to get approved, um, and you don't need any kind of collateral. So the things that you net absolutely need at the bank conventional bank you don't need with this kind of financing and you can get more money when you even pay down half of what you owe usually with only a single bank statement review so once you get your first loan and you pay back half of what you owe then they'll typically start offering you more money and all you need to get it is one bank statement you supply one bank statement and you usually fund within 24 hours so once you go through that first funding that can take even 72 hours or less then it's very easy to get subsequent fundings on the fly whenever you need the money by just supplying a single bank statement for review. As a matter of fact, over 70% of clients do come back and get more money again and again and again with this program because it's so fast, it's so easy to be able to access. So here's a perfect example of where this works. So one of our North Carolina OBGN clients got 30,000 in funding in 24 hours. The business needed expansion capital to make a big move, but there were multiple challenges with credit scores and already overextending credit credit lines. Well, using their consistent cash flow, they were able to get $30,000 really quickly in just one day, and this helped them get the money they needed for their acquisition. As a matter of fact, they opened up a whole entirely different office. And today, this client's received over $1.5 million in this type of financing, revenue financing, as well as private money, as well as unsecured financing as well. So a great program. They used multiple of these to expand, as well as do 
some other things that was needed for the business, even paying off some other debt. So there's another kind of financing you should know about too. It's probably one of the most popular kind of financing that's out there. Definitely the most popular for anybody that is a startup or that doesn't have or want to provide verification of revenue or income. You can get up to 150000 in unsecured financing and it's no doc. So you don't need tax returns and you don't need bank statements. So what this means is it means even startups are able to obtain this kind of financing. Now you can get 0% rates with this kind of financing for 6 to 18 months and you don't need collateral either. So you don't need collateral and you don't need any kind of revenue or financial. So even startups are able to get approved. Now you're typically going to get five or more, usually five to eight business credit cards with cash out capability. So what this means is it means you get the benefit of credit cards that give you 0% rates for six to 18 months. And you get the benefit of credit lines where you could physically take the cash out. So when you combine those two, we're talking about credit cards with 0% rate where you could take the cash cash out at 0%. So really the best of both worlds combining business credit cards and business credit lines. Now these accounts report to the business credit reporting agencies, not the consumer reporting agencies. So not only are you getting up to 150000 in financing at 0% that you could take all the cash out on, even as a startup, but you're building your business credit at the same time. We talked about this program in video one. Now you'll get five plus video credit or business credit cards with cash out capability and you'll typically get five times the amount of your highest credit limit account now. So if you have a $10,000 limit credit card right now on your consumer credit report, you'll typically get five $10,000 credit cards with cash out capability. So you'll get about $50,000 or more in financing. And this is also about five to eight times more money than you'll ever get on your own. If you try to go out on your own and get your own business credit cards, the problem is typically that you're getting credit cards that report to the consumer credit reporting agencies, which is a real problem because as you use those you damage your consumer credit scores unlike these that report to the business reporting agencies you're typically getting a shorter term for zero percent where these can be zero percent for 18 months and you typically can't take very much cash out on those credit cards you may get on your own unless you pay 20 percent or higher rates well with this program you're getting five to eight times more money than you get on your own and the benefit of cash out business credit building and zero percent for up to 18 months so you'll need a 680 FICO score for approval for this program and you can also use a guarantor a family family member, a friend, a potential investor, a colleague, somebody else that wants to sign as a guarantor. And again, the benefit of this is that none of these accounts will report on the consumer credit reports. So the only time the guarantor really has any kind of repercussion is if you default on the actual credit. Otherwise, the credit's actually helping the business build its own credit as well as being able to obtain that financing. Inquiries, utilization, are approval factors. You can't have too many of either. They don't want to see that you have too many inquiries or too high of utilization. And again, we're going to talk about how you can get pre-approved or get approved immediately for this program as we dive in and talk a little bit more more um, about it into video three. So if you have good personal credit now, you can script to 150,000 in unsecured, no doc, 0% financing, even as a startup, as I mentioned. And again, that comes in the form of five of those cards, which put five high limit accounts on your credit report. And we looked at the same testimonial in video one. We talked about this program where this client was able to get 61,400, even as a startup, to be able to get funding for their business. We have a lot of clients that get this program, especially as startups, especially especially those that don't want to provide income docs, and especially those that want low interest rate credit lines as they grow their business, um, especially in the initial stages. So another kind of financing is called collateral-based financing. Now, with this kind of financing, you're basically using collateral or some kind of asset to offset the lender's risk when you're borrowing. So even as a startup, even if you have bad credit, you can still secure collateral-based financing. So even if you don't have any kind of income verification, any kind of revenue yet, no revenue verification, no tax returns, no bank statements, no matter how bad your personal credit is, you can still get approved for this kind of financing if you have some kind of collateral. And the best part is the interest rates are a fraction of what you'd ever pay with the SBA. You can get this kind of financing with rates of 2% or lower. The lowest interest rate program that we've actually seen that you can access is a half a percent of interest
$1,000 for every week that the credit line is outstanding. Even if you kept the credit line and paid it back over the term you have to pay it back, you'd still pay less than 5%. But if you're only borrowing the money and paying it back within a few weeks, you could literally pay a half a percent, even 1%. So several different options available, less than 2%. And you can get approved again regardless of cash credit and even if you don't have any other kind of collateral even if you only have one kind of collateral and you don't have any other kind of collateral you don't have the cash flow you don't have good credit you're still able to come in and get approved now there's a lot of types of account uh, of actual collateral that could work one is account receivables and purchase orders so for example if you have account receivables you can get approved for a credit line up to a hundred thousand dollars the credit lines available within 24 hours there's no credit check at all they don't pull your personal credit they don't pull your business credit all they do is plug into either your bank account or your accounting software their system does an automated review and underwriting issues and underwriting approval and you can get approved for up to 100 grand just because another business or a customer owes you money or maybe you have purchase orders that you need fulfilled and you need the money to fulfill purchase orders or maybe you deal with companies that owe you money through account receivables that you wait weeks or months to get paid well there's all kinds of financing that can help you in any of those scenarios. Stocks, bonds, 401ks. Maybe you have stocks or bonds or a 401k. Maybe somebody else that wants to invest in your business does. Maybe a friend does. Maybe a family member does. Well, in any of those scenarios, you can use the stocks, bonds, 401ks as collateral to actually be able to get low interest rate credit lines to fund your business. So for example, you can borrow as much as 100% of the value of your 401k, or you can borrow as much as 90% of the value of the stock. And stocks, as an example, you still keep the stocks, the money invested in the same stocks you have. You still earn the interest. There's nothing that changes except for the fact that you're issued a credit line with that being collateral. So if you ever default, obviously they take the stocks back as collateral. If you don't default, then you still keep the stocks in place. You still keep your investments the same. You still earn the interest. And you also access a low interest rate credit line. So a lot of examples here. We had a client that wasn't able to get $25,000 in financing at their bank because they owned a bar, but because they had a 401k, they were able to access over 750000 in financing with 401k financing. And again, the interest rate on this kind of financing is 5% and lower. Maybe you have inventory. Maybe you need to buy inventory. Well, there's specific financing for the purpose of either helping you buy inventory or giving you a credit line using inventory as collateral. You can also get all different kinds of equipment financing. So you can get financing even as a startup to buy equipment that you need. You can get equipment leasing to get low payments and low interest rates on the equipment that you want to buy. You can even get a program called Equipment Sale Leaseback where you're using existing equipment you already own to borrow against and actually get cash borrowing against the equipment you already own. So Maybe you own a big piece of equipment. Maybe a relative or a friend or a family member has a big piece of equipment that they're not using. Well, you can use that as collateral, borrow against it to get low interest rate financing. Maybe you have real estate, commercial real estate that you want to borrow against or you want to buy new commercial real estate. Maybe you have commercial vehicles that you own that you want to borrow against or commercial vehicles that you want to buy. Or maybe it's an 18-wheeler truck if you're in the trucking industry. Well, there's all kinds of specific financing for that as well. Well, even an insurance book of business, even if you have a book of business and you're an insurance agent or an ins own an insurance agency, or maybe you want to buy an insurance agency, or maybe you want to flip homes on the residential side. Maybe you want to be a house flipper. Well, there's kind of literally house flipper financing using residential homes as financing to be able, or, or as collateral to be able to get financing. So any kind of asset or collateral that you may want to buy, you can use that as collateral to finance the action or, or use that as collateral to get the financing you need. Or maybe you already own one of these different types of collateral. Or maybe a business partner, a friend, a family member, somebody else that wants to invest in your business is willing to pledge their collateral for you to be able to borrow against. All of these open up even more funding options for you as well. And even though in this video we're not going to talk about it, we haven't even talked about private money. We haven't even talked about venture capital. We haven't even talked about a lot of the other kind of financing that's available that in video three will kind of give you an overview of how to access the collateral-based financing, the revenue financing, the unsecured financing, as well as private money and a lot of term loans and a lot of other kind of financing that we haven't even had a chance to dig into. So here's an 
one case, great case study where the client that got 170000 in account receivable financing, and through this financing, this California company was basically was provided cash flow to keep the business running smoothly. So this happens all the time. Where in their case, they had a big order they needed to fulfill, but in doing so, that restricted their cash flow. By getting account receivable financing, they were able to get the order fulfilled and get the money they needed to fulfill the order without dipping into their cash flow. And this helped unlock new opportunities of growth and increased revenue because they had, again, more money to be able to take advantage of other opportunities. So, again, congratulations to Carlos uh, for being able to make that happen in his business. So, soon to come in video three. We're going to cover how to get business credit for your AM that's not linked to your social and loans or credit lines all in one place. We're going to tie it all together. We've talked about a lot of different kind of op loan options here. And again, there are things like venture capital. There are things like private money and term loans that we haven't even talked about. All different types of financing from private investors that we'll be talking about in video three as well. And again, the biggest problem here is a cash access problem. It's accessing the money that's out there. It's not knowing that it's out there. There's a lot of money out there. The problem is accessing it. So we found a really simple way to pool all the money together in one place and make it easy for you to access all the financing you can qualify for, helping you get more money. We're going to dive into that in video three. Again, we're going to talk about how to condense years of business credit building into only months. We're going to talk about getting high limit revolving business credit card with almost all sources, including cash credit, how to get every legitimate business loan and credit line, as I mentioned, all in one place, and how to get access to finance officers. That help you. They go to work for you and actually help with all aspects of securing money. So in the future, or even now, whenever you need money, literally in one phone call or one email, you put an army out there going to work to get you the most amount of money at the best terms and a lot more. So a lot more to come here in video three as we dive in and put these two together. We talk about the easiest and fastest way to get business credit, and we also talk about the easiest and fastest way to get business loans and credit lines and how how to access the most amount of money at the best terms to grow your business. So that's all to come in video three. I look forward to talking with you then.